Welcome back, folks. It is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here. You guys are tuned in for a another episode here on the Wolf of Crypto podcast. Happy New Year, y'all. We are uh, officially in the year 25. Can't wait to see what it's going to bring here to us. Hopefully nothing but prosperity, especially when it comes into this space. And uh, today we're going to be diving on in into the deep world of decentralized AI and blockchain with this exciting platform, SwarmNode.ai. And if you're into cutting edge technology, crypto or AI, you're definitely going to want to stick around and listen about what Swarm Node AI has to uh, present here and how it might, it might be a project that you might want to watch. Seems like when it comes to this particular sector, especially AI, I would say there is a, I would say like a large demand for it. Seems like as a recent, um, a lot more projects uh, sort of pop up. And this was the particular project that kind of ended up popping up. I would say someone on my feed from um, different social media outlets. And I figure, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's take a dive. Let's see what it's all about. Now, before we get all into that, just want to give y'all a heads up. By all means, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. So with that being said, do your own research, do your due diligence, because um, I'm not responsible for that. I'm not making you do that. But what I like to do is I like to just I like to share the wealth a little bit. Especially if I find some projects that happen to have some type of potential upside. Hey, why not? Right. So without further ado, let's let's jump on into it, shall we? All right. So swarmnode.ai combines cloud-based AI agent orchestration with blockchain integration and they've even launched their own token SNAI to support the ecosystem. Now we're going to break down what this platform is, how it works and what makes it unique. Um, for me, I was uh, very intrigued. Now I'm not a developer. Um, I don't have, you know, too much experience in that world, but I do know that there is some new case for that, right? Especially if you're happy to be a developer listening to this particular episode. Now, let's start with understanding the platform itself because when I happened to uh, come across their website, initially my whole thought process was, oh, okay, we got some code, we got some other things that particularly me, I might not really understand, but it looks like this could be of some great use, especially if you are a developer and you're somebody that's building, working with AI. This is <laughs> this is something here. Now swarmnode.ai is a decentralized infrastructure for deploying serverless AI agents in the cloud. Now, AI agents, um, that is a term that I have been seeing pretty heavily um, as of late, especially when it comes to a lot of these different um, AI projects within the sector. Seeing a lot of AI agents, I'm thinking to myself right off the bat, must have some similarities as being some type of assistant, some type of person that's going to help you get the uh, task at hand pretty much done. So these AI agents are designed to collaborate and complete complex tasks autonomously. 
Now, unlike traditional AI services where you're you're a little limited to one monolithic system with swarmnode.ai, this is allows for a uh, modular approach. So we're going to think of it as building with Lego blocks. Each AI agent can perform a specific function and you can chain them together to create more sophisticated workflows. Now, for developers, this means flexibility. You can orchestrate these agents through a uh, REST API or using, you know, their Python SDK. And what's more, SwarmNode.ai provides a free key value database for agents to store data, which is crucial for maintaining state across workflows. Um, some of y'all, <laughs> some of that jargon, you might not understand this. So like I said, I'm going to try to break it down, explain it the uh, best way possible. Again, I'm not, I'm not a developer. So, so I know some of these, especially when it comes to the Python, SDK, like I said, that's why you got to do your homework, right? Now, here's where things get kind of really interesting because SwarmNode.ai isn't just about AI. Obviously, it's built on blockchain principles. And that's where the SNAI token comes in. And that is the native utility token of the Swarm Node ecosystem. And it's used for several purposes, including paying for agent deployments, accessing premium features, and incentivizing developers to create and share new AI. Agents. So, yeah, as you see, got a lot of utility, right? Obviously, this token will be being used by incorporating a token economy. Swarmnode.ai ensures that users and developers are fairly rewarded for their contributions. Now, it also aligns with the broader vision of decentralization, giving that power back to the community rather than a centralized entity. Now, from what I've seen, um, the tokenomics of SNAI are designed to promote long-term growth. There's a cap supply and a portion of the tokens is allocated for development and community incentives. Now, when you first get onto the website, um, again, there is a couple of different things that you can do. I'm pretty sure there will be adding some uh, other features as well, but I'm pretty sure right now, again, we're in the very early stages. There's this particular bounty section, which is kind of interesting. So come here, it says post your idea for an AI agent. You set a bounty. And then you let the Swarm Node developers build it. So right now, there's two current bounties. Um, both of them are up for about, what's that, 10,000 SNAI tokens. And uh, one of them, actually, I'm going to click it over here right now. All right. So this uh, first bounty, somebody had wrote, for a soul scan token analyzer it says need an AI agent that uses soul scan to analyze specific tokens on the Solana blockchain. The agent should take a token's address as input and provide detailed insights about the top in wallets holding that token where in is a variable I can configure. The analysis should include the following for each wallet, how long the wallet has been active, patterns of token holding, long term holder versus frequent flipper, how much of the specified token the wallet holds, how active, how active the wallet is in transactions involving this token, 
other tokens held by the wallet. Now, these requirements are flexible, so we can check and see what can be done. Now, there is a little apply button here. They see on the on the right hand top corner that basically if you are somebody or your developer that can build this, you can basically apply. And then I'm assuming once you've helped, you know, build this for whoever it is. Now, I'm assuming your reward is going to be obviously those 10,000 tokens, which that's pretty dope, um, given the fact that if you are a developer, you can come to a platform like this and basically get some type of conversation uh, directly on the blockchain. And I'm not entirely sure how often these boundaries are going to be going up. I'm definitely going to be trying to follow and analyze to see as more people start to kind of discover this particular platform. I want to see if there's going to be a lot more, you know, bounties going up. Because right now, technically speaking, if I was a developer, I can go ahead and earn myself basically, you know, 20,000 SNI tokens for building some AI agents, which again, this is stuff is insane. <laughs> when you first kind of think about it, because this next bounty here, kind of interesting. It's uh they're looking for a crypto Twitter sentiment monitor. So basically they're looking for an AI agent that can analyze crypto Twitter's sentiment and detect changing trends over time. The agent should allow me to specify which accounts to monitor. It will run on a scheduled basis to analyze sentiment, identify and analyze the uh, the combined sentiment of the specified accounts, store sentiment data, keep a record of the sentiment over time, track sentiment changes, detect and report any changes in the sentiment trends when queried. When I request it, the agent should provide the most recent Sentiment analysis highlight any changes in sentiment since the last analysis. So again, these are the two active bounties that you can participate be uh, actively participate in, basically. So after kind of reading through some of that, um, basically kind of talking about what the platform is, how it all works. Some of y'all might not, it might not be clicking for y'all. So you're probably thinking, hmm, what can you actually do with swarmnode.ai? So here's a couple potential use cases of how you can kind of incorporate this, use this platform up to your benefit, right? Um, the first one would be automated research agents. So think of it like this. Imagine deploying a team of AI agents that scan thousands of research papers, summarize key findings, and provide insights. Because again, you got to remember, this is our official intelligence. Um, AI works at a speed that obviously we most likely can't work at. And you were able to... It's wild to basically kind of build up a team of different AI, like they said, agents, and you can customize them to whatever you want them to do. I mean, I feel like that the possibilities are kind of endless. And I would say another uh, use case for this would be business process automation. So huh, this is where it gets a little bit scary because maybe this is, you know, AI taking some jobs, replacing jobs. But, you know, that's just the way of the world right now. That's kind of where we're headed. So companies can create agents to <laughs> handle repetitive tasks from data entry to customer support. Yeah, I'm going to say that one more time. Just for y'all, so y'all can really hear. Because this is crazy. Crazy, but 
it is what it is, right? Especially when it comes to artificial intelligence. Companies can create these agents to handle repetitive tasks from data entry to custom support. So right there, those are two jobs. Customer support agents, data entry agents. Boom. That's going to hurt your opportunities, right? Because now I can just deploy a bunch of AI agents that can get those tasks done in a timely manner and they can do a lot a lot more and it's probably not going to cost you that much, right? Another one would be decentralized AI services. Developers could build and monetize niche AI services on the platform. Basically creating a decentralized AI marketplace. Now, again, those are just a few use cases. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more that I'm not even talking about covering. It's probably some that you're probably thinking about right now as you're listening to this episode. So when I say here, the potential sounds pretty massive, right? Swarm, no dot AI could democratize access to AI capabilities, making it easier for small businesses and individual developers to compete with the tech giants. Of course, um, no platform is without its challenges. One potential risk for SwarmNode.ai is adoption, right? As with any decentralized platform. The success depends on a vibrant developer community. Without enough agents and use cases, the platform can struggle to gain some traction. There's also the usual, you know, volatility associated with crypto tokens. As an AI has utility within the platform, its value will depend on external market forces, which can obviously be unpredictable, right? Finally, while the concept of uh, Decentralized AI is very exciting. It's going to raise some questions, obviously, regulation, data privacy, and security. Biggest emphasis was probably be on uh, data privacy. Seems like every time you turn around, there's a data breach here, a data breach over there. Happens, right? So, will Swarm Node AI address these issues as it grows? That's going to be something to keep an eye out for, obviously, going into the near future here. Um, Swarm Node AI represents a uh, fascinating intersection of AI and blockchain, offering a uh, new way to think about deploying AI agents and incentivizing innovation um, through a tokenized economy. If you're a developer, Interested in building on swarmnode.ai? I would encourage you to uh, check out their Python SDK and REST API uh, documentation. And for the uh, crypto enthusiasts out there, I would say keep a uh, an eye on the SNA tokens developments. Thanks for tuning in today's episode here on the Wolf of Crypto podcast. Definitely going to be uh, highlighting a lot more projects here in the AI sector. Um, if you guys did find this discussion insightful and uh, somewhat useful, please subscribe, share, and leave a review. And uh, again, I'm your host, Wolf Crypto. That's it for this episode. Until the next time I see y'all, y'all be safe out there in the crypto space. Peace.